Hello. We have been an inventive species. No other species before us has had the power and intellect to fundamentally reshape the world to suit our own needs. For thousands of years, aided by our imagination and ingenuity, the arts, science, engineering and design, we have created ever more complex cultures and systems. In turn, the world we create shapes us back. It shapes who we think we are, our societies and personalities, aspirations and beliefs. We have come to believe in our creation, that we stand apart and above the world that sustains us. For the longest time we thought we could grow and expand forever, ignoring or suppressing the scientific evidence that tells us otherwise. Design has a lot to answer for in getting us to this point. We have reached a crossroads. The ecosystem has reached a tipping point. It is up to us to act, and we must act now. Critical and constructive, we have to use our skills as inventors and communicators, makers and facilitators to connect knowledge and build bridges across disciplines. Our aim is to activate people, encourage empathy across species and remediate the negative effects we have brought upon the planet. We must use the same considered, ethical and sustainable approach to everything we make and consume. I think it is safe to say that no other species in the history of our planet has ever faced such stark choices as we have as humans. We are in positions of power. Every time we decide what to fight for, every time we vote, we ought to choose something our great-grandchildren can live with. Time and tide wait for no man. I'm inviting you to join in, make with us, invent and design. Seaweed is one of the few organisms with which a positive ecological impact can be generated with increased production. Some types of brown kelp, the algae this installation is made from, can grow up to 30 centimeters wide and 6 meters long in just one year. I discovered kelp 11 years ago with the fresh eyes of a foreigner when I was an artist in residence in Japan. I could hardly believe that no craft had developed around this marine material that has been entwined with Japanese culture for thousands of years. But kelp was framed so much as food, no other use seemed thinkable. Yes, we can eat algae, but we can also use it as fertilizer and turn it into bioplastic, biofuel, dyes, veneer and textiles. While it grows, it cleans the ocean of excess harmful nutrients such as agricultural runoffs and fish farm feces. Growing it can help reduce damage to marine ecosystems, but only if we make sure we understand the ecological and social impacts of our actions and develop practices that forefront sustainability so as not to cause any harm. We founded the Department of Seaweed, a transdisciplinary platform for the exploration of seaweed as a sustainable resource for making. We integrate knowledge from scientific and artistic fields across levels of complexity that reach from molecules to materials, signs and symbols, objects, interactions and services, to policy advice. Design, in our view, can be the tool to make connections between separate domains of knowledge and engage actors, not just the human ones, with complex intertwined systems. Design here is to be understood as a liberal art that links science and society, ecology and economy, theory and practice. We urgently have to rethink everything we do. How we feed ourselves, what materials we buy and consume, how we build our economies and how we travel and collaborate to achieve a future worth living in. Let us use our design skills to that end. Thank you.